Okay, this next problem is a cotangent. You see here, the period formula is still going to be the same regardless of whether it's tangent or cotangent. So it's pi over b here. We're going to do pi divided by the number in front of the x, which is 3 pi over 4. We have to flip and multiply this one. So we're going to do pi over 1 times 3 pi, uh, or 4 over 3 pi. So we're flipping this one over just like that. You're going to get the pi's to cancel out, and you get 4 thirds. So 4 thirds will be your period because, again, the pi's are going to cancel in this one. Next, we want phase shift. Now this, because it's a cotangent graph, this one is just C over B. We don't have that extra part on the end because it's a cotangent graph. So only the tangent graph has that extra minus part that comes after that. This one is just C over B. Now uh, it's minus, so that means your C is gonna be positive. It's always gonna be the opposite sign of what we see in here is kind of a shortcut way of doing it. The formula is C over B. So we're going to do pi over 6, that's, that's the C that goes on top. 3 pi over 4 goes on the bottom. So we're dividing that out. Pi over 6 times 4 over 3 pi. We're flipping and multiplying. The pi's are going to cancel out for this one. You can also do a little reducing on that one. You can divide both of these by 2. And so we get... 2 on top uh, divided by it on the bottom. Uh, that just ends up being a 3, so we get 2 ninths will be your answer there. Again, there's no pies in this one. Uh, that would be your final answer, 2 ninths.